Hey guys, it's Triple Center 29, and I'm going to show you how to build a trading hall. So, um, yeah, underground and overground. Really simple, no mods, no commands. But, um, I made a video about a mod that makes trading hall production way easier. You can check that out. It should show up in a second in the top right corner. So, uh, go check that out anyway. I'm going to show you the overground first, because that's just simpler. So, what you're going to do, you're going to do that, kind of like, like a plus, but a hole in the middle. And you're going to put two blocks above, so it kind of looks like a finger kind of like sticking out of the sound, though, whatever it looks like. And you're going to knock out these two blocks after you place the block here. And then you're going to grab a villager, obviously, and figure out a way to put him in. Either one way is through minecarts, the other way is boats. Boats is more complicated, so I'd go with a minecart, but that's a little bit more expensive. But, uh, yeah. But since I'm in creative, I'm just going to slap in a villager. So we're going to take a little villager guy. Just gonna slap it in there, say hello to your new villager buddy that's staring at right at you. And then you're gonna take a profession. I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna simply take a uh, loom. I'm just gonna slap it down in front of him. And he should turn into whatever for profession. But in Bedrock Edition, there's a bit of a glitch going on where the Nivets, they stay in it with sometimes, so. Yeah, so be careful with villagers in bedrock. But otherwise, in Java, if not, that glitch is not there anymore. But uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, you just do that 14 times, seven on one side, seven on the other. Pretty simple. Not gonna do it though, cause that's just gonna take forever, and that's not what we're here for—to wait to bore you to death with. Spending ages with this. Anyway, to build an underground one, you're gonna have to go and dig 14 blocks in, into it. And then you're gonna kind of like, on each side, you're gonna do seven little shafts. So the minimum for this is like 14. So 14 villagers. So you're gonna like, so it kind of, so when you do this, it kind of looks a bit like a strip mine, doing strip mining, but not exactly. So, you know, if you have a secret base, you could easily do this without a problem. So you're gonna kind of do that, and it kind of looks like a little strip mine. And then you're gonna dig another block into it. Cool. Now you're going to next. You're gonna uh, place a block over here. You're gonna place blocks over here, preferably match with the walls of your creating hall. Preferably. And you're gonna slap, and then you're gonna somehow put your villagers. I already explained a few ways that you can do that. Just kind of throw them in there. Just kind of throw them in. Obviously, they're all going to be nitwits at the current moment. But soon, when you give them a job, they won't be nitwits. Now, you're going to grab all 14. Well, actually, 13. The 14th one is actually a nitwit. So, you get a nitwit, and you can have, like, a... And then you can have, like, an extra... But you don't have to do 14, but 14 is a ideal number. It's a good number for... No! 
Okay, yeah, make sure they don't get out. That That's going to be a problem. So either kill them or throw them in a boat or something. Just kind of beat them in. Or just kill them, yeah. I'm just going to kill this guy. So I'm going to grab a beautiful little axe. And hit him with the... Yeah, okay. Well, be careful. You gotta place it fast enough. So place your villager. And as you can see, turned. Do the same thing for this guy. Just kind of go down the line. And do it. Done. Done. And then, you're gonna keep doing it until you got all 13. So... Got kind of throw these back in there. I mean, gonna grab the rest of them. So we got our grindstone, smithing table, stone cutter, and there's two more. I think it's cloudern, make stand a lectern, which are not in there. And we're gonna grab a cauldron. A lectern and a brewing stand. Yeah, okay. Lost the cauldron. <laughs> okay, there. Now you're gonna place in your cauldron, brewing stand, a lectern, and then you got a free villager for whatever. Profession. Make sure this is well lit for z so then you won't get any zombies. So grab a torch or redstone lamps or something. I'm just gonna grab a torch and it's gonna kind of place it on the ground. Ground is the best place to put it. There we go. Ho -ho. Now it's well lit, and you can see the villagers, and they can see you, right? Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, really simple, underground hunt. And also, by the way, you don't have to do 14 villagers, but you could. You can do more. But if you want one type of profession, I think you should do go for about three or four, so... If you want like three or four type of the same profession, just kind of keep going down the strip mine, do times four. As four is like a good amount, usually. And also you can implement this with the iron farm somehow. Maybe like put villager, maybe like make a 16 by 16 area, put villagers all around it, and then with Professions, obviously, and then, and then the area in the middle is where you'll put the iron golems and you'll heal the iron golems, and yeah, pretty easy, not that hard. So, if you enjoy watching this, consider leaving a like and subscribing to this video. I mean, to my channel. And if you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. Otherwise, you'll miss out on the next video, which won't be a good thing, as you'll miss out on all the fun. <laughs> but, like I said, consider subscribing, and please do it. It would mean so much to me. And also hit that notification bell. That even mean that mean even more to me. Anyway, I'm signing out. Because I've already showed you a simple trading haul. So, bye guys. I will see y'all in another good video. Goodbye.